I come to you on this review and say that this was a pretty much this was a pretty big fail. If you guys watched my previous video, you might have seen uh, where I mounted this 2,500 pound winch onto my trailer to use to pull cars up onto it. And, uh, you know, a lot of people might say that, well, you know, that's just a dumb idea. It's an ATV winch, it's only rated at 2,500 pounds. And uh, the reason why I chose to do this is, first of all, I saw other people using similar winches on car trailers and they worked out for them and another thing was i was thinking that if it's a 2500 pound winch it means you know that they're thinking like people are going to use it to pull things that are 2500 pounds and most things are overrated for or i should say underrated if you have my thinking was is if you had a 2500 pound winch it really meant it was like a 35 or 4000 pounds capacity at most uh but they didn't but they just rate it that way so that people will get good longevity out of them i went ahead and i mounted this to my trailer and uh i wish i had recorded it the very first time i used it it was on a little nissan pickup truck and this is probably the best case scenario for this to ever work because that truck only weighs about 26, 2700 pounds. So it was only a little bit over the winch's capacity and it pulled the truck about halfway up my ramps before it just gave up and broke. Uh, as you can see, this uh, kind of went bad because, partially because this was starting to get a little bit uh, tangled up, but it still should have been working. I mean, it wasn't, tangled in such a way that the barrel can turn. But if you can see, this winch is literally bent. The body of the winch is bent where the uh, motor goes to the main part. And uh, I mean, that's pretty scary uh, to be honest. My, uh, my thing is, is this winch in my opinion should have been able to pull up that truck because if you figure it's only just over the capacity of the winch and it was on flat ground and for most of it and then it came up to my ramps about nine feet up my ramps which they're nine foot long ramps so they're not super steep i don't think that the actual tension on this line could have been 2,500 pounds. I don't think that that's possible because I've pulled up heavier things with just a regular 1,200 pound come along without any issue by hand. But this uh, little winch just, I thought it should be stronger than I am. And apparently it's not. Uh, it's a winch, it runs on 12 volts. It's small, so you can put it on the front of a four wheeler pretty easily. You, it comes with a remote, uh, which I don't know how useful that is if you are putting it on the front of a four wheeler, but it's very useful if you're using it on a trailer to pull up cars. Ultimately, would I suggest this winch if to anybody? Well, it depends on what you want to use it for. If you actually want to put it on the front of a four wheeler, I think it'll be just fine. Uh, most four wheelers are only like 600 pounds on you know average, I would think. So in that situation, I think it would work fine. Um, but don't believe it to move 2,500 pounds, not on a regular basis in, it, in any case. Um, would I suggest it to pull cars up on your trailer? No, definitely not. Um, take it from me, you have the video here, this will not work for this. I've tried it, it doesn't work. Broke very first time I tried it. But that's not the winch's fault, it wasn't rated for what I was doing with it. Um, I think that probably that speaks to the uh, longevity of it. If you're looking for something that you know you can depend on every single day, this might not be the best one because really I wasn't that far. I don't think I was even over the capacity of the winch because the thing was rolling, it was all smooth. Um, but, you know, you can say what you want. It was, it was something more than 2,500 pounds, so. You know, I guess you could say that that was my fault and I'll take responsibility for that.
moving all my stuff so I can mow the lawn. Just curious, uh, would any of you guys be interested in seeing anything about this little Nissan truck? Uh, I know some people like them, they're pretty popular hard body trucks. Uh, this one's already lowered, it's, it's pretty much all it's done to it is that the previous owner lowered it. Um, but it's got some weird problems with it. When it gets hot it likes to just like sputter and you know almost shut itself right off. Um, but it's a fairly clean truck. You know, we're in Virginia, so I'm originally from Maine, if you can't tell from the shirt. And up where I'm from, there's a lot of rust on everything, but this, everything here seems fairly rust-free in comparison. The only uh, spot on this truck is just right here. So, right in here, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but this has got some rust in it. But other than that, it's pretty clean. The frame's really clean on it. Um, like I said, it just has that little drivability issue. Um, it's a stick shift truck, so. There's some potential. Sounds like a 240. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if that's something you guys wanna see.